Hi, this is Lily Cotilla, the psychotherapist with Rapid Ibogaine Treatment. Today I want to talk about hormones in conjunction with Ibogaine. Those who seek out Ibogaine plant medicine to help them with depressive symptoms that perhaps have not been alleviated through usage of SSRIs or SNRIs or therapy or various other modalities. Ibogaine is used to really um, rewire your nervous system and give yourself an opportunity to be operating internally with a whole new neurocircuitry pathway, thus allowing you for new formations of thought and ideas and life in general contributing to happiness. Um, for those who are not so familiar with Ibogaine and depression, um, it's typically used for opiate addiction. However, research studies show that when used in smaller amounts, depending on the doctor who will administer it for you, will range anywhere from 12 milligrams to 6 milligrams per kilogram of body weight to assuage depression. And when working in conjunction with a psychotherapist, it can be just absolutely, the way it's been described anyway, is a level of gray that some know is, are, is there and some know, don't know is there, but that level of gray just lifts away from their, their life and their days. So, that said, it's important to also keep in mind the more traditional Western medicine approach and outlook to the body, as well as Eastern and indigenous philosophies. So when it comes to the endocrine system, when men are low in testosterone or women's hormones, such as estrogen and progesterone, are off, this can often be the underlying culprit of depression, yet the general population isn't educated regarding this. So when they feel depressed, they will go directly to a psychologist or a psychiatrist who will ultimately prescribe medication to help depression. So it's important to keep in mind the hormone balances. Ibogaine is a great depression lifter and booster and also take a look at your hormones whether you do it before ibogaine or after ibogaine is up to you for men ibogaine naturally increases testosterone levels for 10 weeks as it's stored in the adipocytes released slowly i for women the research still needs to be carried out as it does unfortunately with many topics that are related to gynecological issues, but that's a whole separate story. More research needs to be funded into women's related anatomical parts. But um, so I begin for depression and keep in mind hormones before you go to a psychiatrist for traditional talk and medicinal therapy. Thank you.